Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is can place flowers. So in this question, we're given a long flower bed in which some of the plants are planted and some are not. However, flowers cannot be planted in adjacent plots. So in this, we're given an integer array called flower bed consisting of zeros and ones. Where zero means it is empty and one means it is not empty and a flower is already placed. We're also given an integer n we have to return true if n new flowers can be planted in the flower bed without violating the adjacent flowers rule else we have to return false so let's take this example here we are given this flower bed and we have to plant one more new flower such that no two flowers are adjacent to each other so here you can see you cannot place the flower here because it is adjacent to here you cannot place it here because it is adjacent to a flower you can place a flower here because there are no flowers adjacent to it. So you can place the new flower here and the no adjacent flowers rule is not getting violated. And you already placed the flower so n is 0 and there is no need to place a new flower. So you return true as the output. And in the second example we need to place two new flowers. You can't place here, you can't place here because there are adjacent flowers. You can place one here. So one flower is planted here and you decrease the number of new flowers and you need to place one more. There are two empty places. You can't place here because there are flowers on two ends of the current spot. Here also you cannot place because there are two flowers to its adjacent plots. Since there is no way we can place the n new flowers, we return false as out. Now let's implement these steps in a Java program. So here I'm shaking a base check that if n is equal to 0. If no new flowers are needed to be placed, we return true as there is no need to change the flower bed input. And now I'm counting. I'm using a variable count to count how many new flowers we have placed. And later I'm going to check that count with the n so that if they're both equal, we return true. So I'm using a for loop to iterate through the input array flower bed from 0th index till the end. So I'm starting from left to right. So 0 till the end. And we can only place a flower if there is zero in that place. So there, in this case, you can place flowers only in these three places. So whenever there is a zero, we continue our check. So first if condition is to check if that current element is a zero. And in the second check, we have to check two cases. You have to check if the left part of the array is empty. You have to check if the right part of the array is empty. So here, I'm checking if it is the leftmost index here in this case or if that element to the left i minus 1. So if i is here, we are checking if i minus 1 is equal to 0. So here I'm checking left part. And here again and is important because both left and right should be empty to satisfy the no adjacent flowers rule. This part is for left and this part is for right. So I'm checking if it is the rightmost index, if it is the rightmost index or if it is the element to the right. If i is here, we are checking i plus 1 if this is a 0. So if i plus 1 is a 0 or if it is a rightmost index, we increment count. And immediately inside this if statement, we are checking an another if statement if count is equal to n. So if we have placed all the new flowers, then we return true. And before starting the new iteration, I'm incrementing i to move further. And finally, once this for loop ends, I come out of the for loop. And if I haven't returned true here, we will return false because this condition has not been satisfied. If this condition is not satisfied, we return false as the output. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n, where n is the length of the input flower bed. Where, and the space complexity is constant O of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.